Welcome everybody. Uh, we are in the course on dynamics uh, and control. Mm, my name is uh, Pedro Alberto from the Polytechnic University of uh, Valencia in Spain. And we have seen till now the module 4, control systems uh, design. And today we are going to present some of the questions for you to think about and to answer. So, mm, the framework of the course can you see here in this slide, there are six modules, we are in the fourth module and after seeing some examples of systems, uh, models and uh, the properties of the control systems, uh, we have seen in the last module the control system design. So in fact in this module we have seen that uh, to design a controller we need to define the structure and this structure could be open loop or closed loop we must uh, combine uh, both uh, schemes and getting some complex uh, structures. And then we need to define the parameters based on the model or based on the error of the um, system. And finally, we see some more complex uh, structures, what we call the global design. So the questions that we raise is uh, what can be used uh, for control, which kind of information, and which kind of uh, process models and control parameters uh, we are going to tune. So let's uh, start with the first question. A feed forward control, you could remember this uh, figure, uh, is useful in some cases. Uh, if uh, mm, a good model of the plant is available, if uh, no disturbances uh, are applied or if there are disturbances they are measurable, if the control variable can be measured or if the plant is stable. So which one of these uh, conditions is not a requirement? Please uh, think about that. Thank you. 